Hello Dirty Gardeners, it's me and today I'm talking about preserving things, wrapping up the garden and I'm talking about drying your herbs. So my rosemary is so fragrant and gorgeous right now so I'm going to cut this right back down to the bottom and I'm going to bring this in because my rosemary plants, they never seem to winter here in Toronto. It's too cold, our winters are too harsh so We'll say goodbye to the rosemary plant and the basil is done for the year. So we'll just cut that back. But the rosemary, I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to show you guys how I dry my rosemary. I'm also going to show you how to do the sage. Look at this gorgeous variegated sage that I got from Tara this year. And there's some sage from my really, really old sage plant. Um, and then over here, I have my other container that did really well. I put the thyme in here this year. So I have lemon thyme and regular thyme. So we're going to cut this back too. And I'm going to take in my parsley because we've had some frost warnings and parsley will not make it through a frost. So I'll bring that in and then maybe cook with it tonight. Maybe I'll post my favorite tabbouleh recipe. But let's go and I'm going to take you guys over here and I'm going to show you how I dry out my, my herbs for the season. Okay? Come on. Thanks, buddy. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting pieces of twine and I'm knotting the pieces of sage hanging from them. And then I'll do another knot. Oh, about two inches from the first one. I'll grab another little piece of sage and I'll tie it up in there. And then what that's going to give you is something, hey buddy, that looks like this. Isn't that cool? And it looks pretty too. So I like to hang this on a wall or anywhere where you get a lot of ventilation and in a warm spot in your house. And those will dry out beautifully. And you can save this sage and use it all winter long. And then what I do for the time is I get little bunches of thyme and I'll tie it around and I'll hang that too. And once this is dry, you can crunch this and all the little thyme leaves will fall off and then you wanna contain it in a mason jar or a paper bag and, and then you can use the thyme all summer long. I mean, all winter long. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the rosemary too. I'll string it up in little bunches like this. And then that'll be great for Christmas dinner or any kind of stews and stuff like that. So I like to use my herbs all winter long. So yeah, it's getting a little cold out here guys. So go out there and pick all your herbs and make sure you save everything up for a nice long winter. See you later. Bye. Everyone has their favorite spot to shop and I want to show you mine. I'm outdoor lifestyle expert Carson Arthur and I want to show you why I love Tara. And if you're a foodie, follow me. There's nothing better than growing your own. Cooking straight from the garden. Tara makes my life easier and a little more colorful. Live color fully at Tara, where color lives.